and make your own hats for Minecraft. So, first we go to tinker.com. Now, we're here. This is my profile, right here. Oh, there we go. Sync project. Sync publish. Perfect. So first create project and go to Minecraft. Now we'll go to create block. I know you don't want to create blocks. But something cool. First select the edition you want to put it in. I'm just gonna choose Java because it's the only one I have. I do also have bedrock, but unfortunately it's not displayed. Well maybe it is and I'm just not noticing. So first, you need to search for pumpkin. When you find a pumpkin, pumpkin, we need to add pumpkins because these are the only blocks that can be displayed on the player's head. So we just go forward. It's got in right here, this pumpkin, like this. This is what it currently looks like, but we need to add it because it's the only block. And you don't want a jack-o'-lantern. You want it to be like this. Now you also need to give it a name. I'll just name it test. And I know I gave a pretty weird name. So now you can color code it however you want. So now you can just color it and then make it look like whatever you want. So you can you can just make it as your own and recreate it into an entire hat. It would be very interesting if you can also do this on it would also be very interesting if you can upload it, but sadly it takes multiple days to until until it's fully uploaded. Then other players can also wear your hat by uploading it. First you need to save it and then click share. I'm just gonna leave it like this. The gradient effect is actually pretty difficult to add, but I can. You just need to select the other edition. Then you can actually add a gradient effect if you want. So I'm just going to make it like this. <laughs> like some kind of pattern. This is actually a little bit similar to skin editor tutorial. Like with this. And there. Wait, this is actually supposed to be yellow. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. So now I can also add the green on the very bottom. Fortunately, it became yellow. And then, oh this, you might notice that there's a small error with this. But that's fine. Even though errors are not so good. But still. Now we can save item. And now if you want to publish it. Like this. Then you need to press publish. Well actually I won't. Because this is a test. But now you actually know how to. And also. You can also make block. Like other textures here. So I'll also show you some more things you can do here. You can also make add-ons and construction and even your own mods. Very cool. Like really. So you can also create mobs too. And then make them look like something completely else or even a different video game character. You can even make some mobs look like hats. Also if you select Win 10 Pocket Edition then actually you can turn a mob into a hat completely. So for an example, I will, I will turn like, okay, just wait one second. I will turn this magma cube into a hat. And it's not really as hard as you think. First use this. Wait, wait, what? Why are the multiple layers? Okay, this is weird. I want it to be one layer. Oh, actually, I can turn the slime into this. Just wait one second. I'm really sorry this took up some of your time. The slimes work better. 
Now, first we also want to use the cube tool, and now you can delete the eyes. This is just advanced version now, but fortunately it acts like a slime. Now, if you look here, you, you see a cube. Now you duplicate this, and you can move it up into, but fortunately it also has advanced angles, which is bad. But, but here, when you resize it, it doesn't have. So now we can just resize the height like this, and then we can switch this like that and that. So now we can hide this block, and now we can also color code this as black. And so you might just notice that then actually we just moved to a different room. Okay, and now like this. We need to make this thing black. Because we want it to be a man's hat. Also, just so you know, I actually put in a link to my profile in the description, so make sure to check it out. Not really to my... Actually, no, I, I can't. But I did put in a link to the app. So... I just put in a link to the app, so make sure to check out the link in case you want to do this. Now you just need to duplicate this, because there might be a small glitch. Then when you do, then when you get rid of, then you let go, you might notice that the shape's now fully loaded. Fortunately, when you hide it, you need to hide it two times. So now you just delete this, oops, and now unhide it. And you might notice now it's perfectly shaped and the glitch is gone. And now we just need to do the same thing from all sides here. Like that. Okay. And now when you unhide it, it looks like a real man's hat. Unfortunately, I didn't add the shading. So if you want, you can edit another. So unfortunately, if you want, you can add shadowing. Just I didn't. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. Now, bye.